Hello, my name is Douglas. I appreciate you checking out the video uh, in my shop here. Uh, of course, I've uh, got a bunch of them going on my Nissan. You see my Nissan, it's on a back burner. But what we're working on now is a Chevy Tracker with all them weird numbers on it. So uh, this is a 2.0, and it is, believe it or not, uh, classified as a truck. So when you're working on this thing, you'll actually have to put the... Uh, so this is Anthony, and he was... Uh, so what exactly happened when the problem become a problem? I uh, was coming home from Tucker Hollow, getting off work. Uh, just turned on 281, trying to get up to speed. I got to 45 miles an hour, and it just quit. I had, you know, power to the lights, radio, all that good stuff, but it wouldn't start or anything. It, it would crank over. Yeah, it would crank, but it wouldn't start. But it, but it wouldn't do nothing. Did it sputter or anything? Mm -hmm. no. I mean, nothing. No noise, nothing. It just quit. So, we're fun now. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is what we've discovered is this top sprocket has uh, several teeth off of this thing. Get a zoom up on it. And uh, where are them? Yeah, missing teeth right here. So, um, and it, one thing that we've all also discovered is timing this thing. This mark here has been lined up, and these are the old gears. They have not come off yet. And then you got another mark, and this, and so yeah, we're going to have all kinds of fun. This is the new part. I'll try to get a picture of that. And you got your keyhole right there but here is apparently your timing mark we'll have to figure that one out because yeah first of all I want to say we don't know what we are not mechanics at all so uh, in looking at this uh, well we got to be somewhat mechanical minded yeah <laughs> somehow we've got to bring this up and get the number one cylinder up on top dead center so if anybody is like watching this video Please reply how to do that. But we're going to come down here, and there's a mark down here. Get the flashlight on. And yeah, you can see that mark right there. Yep. And then down here is the other mark up in that area, and that's got to come up there. But yeah, even in this, we've discovered if you take a wrench and try to bring this up. To where that's going to line up, it pops back out. So uh, I kind of missed that one. Huh? Another thing, we're on this corner. Where my smoke. Yes, yeah, it was a messing with. Uh, we'll have to get that. Kind of do your little deal with that muffler. Yeah, we'll have to. Which is, uh, oh yeah, don't ain't, you love that? Yeah, ain't that pretty? And all these uh, weld marks and all that. So, the you know, on something like that, no, we're, we're not going to touch that. First things first, we uh, line all this stuff up. And we have found, if you go on to uh, O'Reilly's or other auto parts store, I don't even know if I should say that, but what the heck. Um, you can get the same box of stuff. But it has no sprockets whatsoever. And it was still up there 50 bucks. And uh, went to one website, same thing, was $438. We got it for roughly $48, and it will replace all this. So this is what we're working on. And I uh, saw another video where he is uh, doing the same thing. That was like, what, part seven? Yeah. So this is officially our first video part one part one, <laughs> part one of, uh, what the hell are we gonna get in when we uh, take all this apart and try to put it back together you got guides and all this has got to line up so uh, yeah like I said if you uh, see this video uh, just send us a little remark and hopefully we got that up in top dead center right well, here I'm, I'm already sweating, so I uh, appreciate you watching the video, and if you would, please subscribe.